the the Christians they say and I will deal with it if I have the time they say the Quran is forged it is copied from the Jews and the Christians Dr. Sharosh in the last debate he said let me challenge you 75% of the wonderful Quran in my wonderful language of Arabic is from the Bible and I would urge you to look into the Bible and find out where these sources are let me challenge you I'm quoting he said let me challenge you I don't know whether he was challenging me or the audience or all of us so let me challenge you 75% of that wonderful Quran in my wonderful language of Arabic word for word I'm quoting sir you can get this tape the tapes are available outside in case you know you doubt my words of that wonderful Quran in my wonderful language of Arabic is from the Bible if I had the time I'll deal with that in detail I will deal with that in detail is from the Bible means copied from the Bible is plagiarized from the Bible is cribbed from the Bible so the Quran answers that look God Almighty he doesn't need my help he answers it he says Am or do they say he forged it who Muhammad forged it Ul, tell them Fa'tu bi surat al so come on produce a surah like it and call your aid to your aid anyone besides Allah in other words the challenge is there produce something like it Muhammad did it he copied it come on man you with your learning you see the Westerner had a good excuse Swagat had a good excuse you know Jerry Falwell will have a good excuse Billy Graham good excuse we don't know Arabic we don't know Arabic we don't know Arabic Brother Shoros. <laughs> Dr. Sharosh has got no excuse. You see, thank you, thank you, my brothers. Thank you. Dr. Sharosh, no excuse. He is a born Arab. He is not a Muslim who is converted to Christianity. He's born Arab and his people have been Christians before Islam. Give them that credit. As he boasted in Birmingham at one of my meetings, he said there are 10 million Arab Christians. 10 million, maybe more now. 14 million. 14 million Arab Christians. I'm open to be rectified. It was 10 million on tape, it's gone to 14, it's quite all right. These are Arab Christians. Arabic is their mother tongue, not the mother's tongue. The mothers have the tongue in their mouths. <laughs> no, it's, look, it's his mother tongue. It means come naturally to him. And the challenge is there for 1400 years, produce a chapter like it. Brother says he will. We are, will be anxiously waiting to listen to the chapter he has produced. Inshallah. Fourteen hundred years, they have failed. Dr. Sharosh has managed it, and we are looking forward with eagerness to his production. <laughs> copy, copy. I am asking, what is there to copy? What have you got that is worth copying? There are. According to one of the mightiest evangelists, tele-evangelists in America, he says, he writes a book on incest. You know incest? I won't belabor you. Incest. You see, when you go with somebody else's wife or daughter, have sex out of marriage, it is adultery or fornication. But when you go and sleep with your own mother, your own daughter, your own sister, your own daughter-in-law, that is incest. There are ten cases of incest in this book of God. Ten. The types and types of incest that you can commit. A textbook, if you want to know what were types. And as a result, 
in my country, the whites of South Africa, most of them are Christians. 8% of all whites in South Africa, they commit incest with their own daughters. And 13% of the Americans are committing incest with their own daughters. <laughs> Our brother, I, didn't, I didn't catch his name, but he's a psychiatrist. He will be able to confirm. Dr. Vernon Jones, a psychologist of great repute. He carried out experiments on groups of school children to whom certain stories were being read. And he said that these stories made certain slight but permanent changes in character. The type of story that you read will create the type of mentality that you have. If you read junky stuff, your mind will become junky. You eat junky food, you will be, your body will become junky. <laughs> Amazing. Out of the ten cases of incest, Muhammad didn't copy a single one. Then you read, rape. Not only rape, how to rape your own sister if you want to, it's given to you in detail. If you want to rape your own sister. One of the sons of David, he set you an example. What, what you must do if you want to rape your own sister? Gang rape is there. A son goes and prohibits with ten of his father's wives. Ten in a row. I'm telling you, this is in the holy book. A Christian lady here in the UK, here in the UK, she wrote a letter, she says, banned in the book. Banned in the Bible. What it has, ban it. But of course, your salvation.